So, I'll show you what my setup is for window cleaning in this video. And uh, I got these because I got two phones. These look really stupid. So <laughs> I'm gonna get a different color and get rid of them. So you're not looking at them the whole damn video. But let's get to the point. So, uh, that's the landscaping because we do window clean. I'll start out by showing you the inside. There's a couple extension poles because we're about to go inside of the house. We got Cody around there with the water fed pole. We'll check him out in a second, see what he's doing over there. So just go up into the trailer here. I use blue buckets for the window cleaning, orange is for landscaping. Uh, I'm trying this new idea with these tote bags. So blue is for clean, black is for dirty. I mean, it's pretty simple, it doesn't get mixed up. And then reach inside. We've got uh, blue huck surgical towels, white towels, microfibers, packs of microfiber towels, all different types. In the tote bins here, I'm about to actually go in the house and clean windows. We got these monsoon scrubbers with sorbo squeegees. Oh, you gotta get this, the Unger Fixie clamp. Put a new on there for uh, reaching high and buffing out skylights and stuff like that. Open this up. We've got uh, Dawn vinegar and ammonia. And this stuff here, screen magic for cleaning screens, it's like armor all for screens really. Uh, ceiling fan duster, spray bottles, you got the pumps, those work pretty good. And then uh, booty shoe covers, see? Buy big packs of them from www.detroitsponge.com, these are awesome. Here's a scraper, I don't like to do a lot of scraping unless they sign a waiver form. And then. One of these is actually for just cleaning screens only because we dry dust it, clean it, and then wipe it. If you come to this one, this is just a tote. Some screen magic. Ta-da! This is uh, replacement rubbers for squeegees, tons of extra window cleaning tools, and a shop vac down there for vacuuming them out tracks if we need to. From here we got a jack. I don't know what that's for house washing stuff we did do pressure washing but um discontinued it for now i had just a couple too many services going and i want something that uh we can get in and get out and not have to you know be complex so power washing tools and extension cords more extension poles and yeah ta-da i'll show you the water fed pole a lot of guys asked me about that Mine is a basic DI resin filter tank. It was like 300 bucks or something, maybe 400. The pole is really expensive. It's the Ettore Aqua Clean with 150 feet of line. And if you look here, the line was actually severed. So I had to replace it with a little cup link. I just reel it up on this for now because it's just fast, you know. Comes out of the customer's tap water a three-stage filter that's really just an under the sink filter so the water's cleaner going into here you're supposed to have it run to a reverse osmosis filter with a pump coming off the truck and then through this so the more filtered your water is before it goes inside of the di resin is the cheaper your water is going to be per gallon when it comes out of here, it's 0, 0.0 total dissolved solids. It means it's spot free. It goes on the windows, it dries spot free. There's no minerals in the water. It's hungry water. It sucks the dirt off the glass, right? But, um, because a guy emailed me the other day, uh, was reading my book and he said, So what do I do, man? Do I just put the water through the DI tank? I don't want to ruin it. Well, actually, yeah, that's the whole point. You're not ruining it, you're just using up using it as a filter and if the dirtier the water is that goes in there the faster it's gonna you know say use up that resin i don't know the scientific term but does that make sense you got it that makes sense so we'll walk around where he's uh cody is over here cleaning some windows we got all the screens out where is he at where is this guy oh he disappeared so there's the uh, water filter and this is his first day that's a boar's head brush 35 foot reach it's like carbon fiber hey uh, Cody if you walk away from the pole 
there's a little nozzle on the top a little wipe yeah just turn it off especially just don't forget because it burns up the water and it costs like I don't know, like 12 cents a gallon or something I'm gonna go up on a, a ladder and get the skylights and all the the hard windows on the inside okay. and then we'll be out of here in like an hour shit we'll be out of here in like 20 minutes never stop joking around man okay I got another client across the street I got a, quite a few clients in here I've raised the prices significantly on all our services so I've lost quite a few clients and that's fine because you got to grow at some point you know what I mean in the beginning you do stuff cheap to get lots of work and then after a while it doesn't work all right I'm gonna get back to work later